it's bed day. Just measuring wood now. Measuring like a expert with my shiny yellow uh, yardstick and my fabulous IKEA pencil. Measuring out uh, two foot pieces, basically, because we're going to have each of these lengths cut at two feet, or at least we want a couple of them cut at two feet um, of the bed, and so that we got four feet worth, and then the other one's going to be actually shorter because we don't have six feet worth of space. Um, but because I like to mess stuff up, I am measuring two feet, two feet, two feet. Um, it's okay if it's a little bit short, as long as the cushions are long enough for us to lay on. It's all right if the wood is a little bit short for this. So that's the goal. We're going to cut these strips down. Or I am going to use this, uh, which I'm very afraid of. And I will try to put it up so you can watch me try to do that. I don't know what I'm doing. So many saws, so little time. I can't figure out how to use a saw. I'm going to try to do it with a jigsaw then. Okay, I cut that big board into a bunch of smaller boards. And now I'm going to get my hinges. And I'm going to measure the hinges to this and make two platforms. As it turns out, you will have a much easier time drilling holes if you drill with the tiny little drill bit first and then put the screws in with this one. Okay, we haven't uh, made the legs yet, but we have sort of laid stuff out and measured where we think the height should be for the legs of this. We made these two platforms with piano hinges on them. And hey, Dan, will you make it into a chair? Sure. Real quick, if you can. If you can get it from that angle. So push it back. I don't want it quite that far back because then it won't, it'll be really awful to sit on. So there's that. And when we're not going to use it, we can fold it completely up and out of the way. Just shove it out of the way. Take the legs off, which is what we will do at that point. Okay, so we bought these big legs from Ikea, and we're going to cut them down to the various sizes. We kind of measured the sizes that we want, and we saw some other YouTubers doing this, and we really liked it, and they, they were smart enough to sticker number their um, legs so they knew which ones went where, like one, two, three, four, five, which we are totally doing. And so right now we're pulling out these and we're going to put these on here so that, because we want to cut more holes like this in there to take some weight off of the thing, but we don't want to mess that up. So we're going to put these on first so that we don't make the holes where we need them to not be. I numbered all the poles, five, four, three, two, one. I labeled them and I put tape to show because it would be easier to see and an arrow for which side 
of the tape we want to cut to hack these. Now I'm going to turn this over and get on it just to see what the weight, how the weight distributes. It's videoing. It's looking good. <laughs> okay. Plenty of space under there now. There it is. Those are the window coverings. I just needed a place to tuck them. This is really great, Dan. <laughs>